Only a handful of diocesan high schools field girls lacrosse teams. And one of those is the Mary Lewis Academy Hilltopper from Jamaica Estates. The Mary Lewis varsity lacrosse team is fresh off a playoff appearance from last year. This season is just beyond the halfway point, so the Hilltoppers are eager to improve with the playoffs in sight. We have predominantly juniors, we have a freshman on our team, and then the rest are sophomores with two seniors, so it's a little tough, but they've been close since the beginning of the season, so they're trying to find each other and mesh well on the field, and it's been a little hard for them right now, but they're finding their way. I think we have a very strong defensive stance right now, I mean, considering a lot of our players are brand new, to pick up zone defense isn't an easy thing to do, and even... Our offense is doing great too. I think the fact that we're a brand new team and we're doing as well as we're doing is just awesome. The dedication of the 23 team members has allowed this group to gel on the field. In addition to games, the team practices every day during the week to keep their skills sharp. We got a lot faster than the beginning of the season since everybody's really new and they're all learning the game, so everybody picked up the rules really quickly. It kind of all fell together. Everybody has like really good chemistry with each other. We've definitely gotten better working as a team. I mean, we're all skilled athletes, but it's hard to really adjust to play as a unit, and we've done pretty well so far. We're good at defense and staying together. Um, sometimes it's a little rough, but, you know, we get through it. The Hilltoppers play their home games at Sacred Heart Academy in Hempstead, Long Island. That's a 40-minute drive from Mary Lewis on a good day, so it's not exactly the ideal situation for home field advantage. Mary Lewis has grown accustomed to the amount of travel they endure during the season. They'll even travel as far as Oyster Bay for a regular season game against St. Dominic's. I don't think they feel they really have their home field, and a lot of schools use that to their advantage. You know, it's our home field, we can win on this field, and I think for them they always feel that they're away, so I think it's tough for them, but... They stick together, they stick it out. I like it because when we're on the bus together, it's team bonding and you know, we got to be together and you know, listen to music, you know, think about the game, how we're gonna approach it. We got a lot closer on the bus rides and like there's always like singing and stuff, so <laughs> it's always fun with, on the buses. Despite all the travel, the team realizes it has a job to do and a limited amount of time to get that job done. We've gotten off to a great start. We can definitely improve. We just need to keep practicing hard and everybody needs to keep working as hard as they can and hopefully we make it. <laughs> they don't give up, which is a great thing to coach. It's hard to find a team that doesn't give up, even with no matter what the scoreboard is. So it's nice to have that. Fighting into the very last second has become the team motto for the Hilltoppers. If they continue to give a 100% effort in every game, they'll wind up right back in the playoffs later this spring. Reporting for Current, I'm Jim Mancari.